Kristen and I have a review for you guys today. I had a lot of requests for this, both when I hauled it and then also when I wore it in another video. And that's the It Cosmetics Live Love Laugh Vitality Face Disc with Drops of Light Technology. I mean, who doesn't want drops of light on their face, right? So this, you can see how big this product is. And this is what it looks like on the inside. And a lot of you have seen this before, I'm sure. So it has a bronzer on this side, which is matte. It also has a matte blush, then it has this highlight. So I'm just going to give you a swatch of all of these. Right there. And just the swatch on my hand. Just really beautiful colors. I'm going to cut to a demo of me using this product on my face today, and then we'll come back and talk about it some more. Okay, so first off, I will use my Bobbi Brown powder brush, and you can use whatever, obviously, whatever um, bronzer brush you're loving at the moment. This is the one I'm using. And then I will take the bronzer, and I always tap it off, but there's not, you know what, I'll just show you. Do you see how there's not a lot of dust that kicks up in that? One of the things I like about that, you're not wasting a lot of product. And just, you know, I'm going to try to do this in the viewfinder so that I'm getting the best light. So I kind of do that and then again there and bring it down here. Same on the other side. And I don't honestly know that my tapping off is doing any good. I'm having a real hard time trying to figure out whether I should look at the viewfinder in my mirror. I go down here a little bit. Then as everybody likes to point out, my face is indeed darker than my neck. So I try to warm up my neck a little bit. Okay. So then I go in with my Bobbi Brown brush, blush, but <laughs> brush, blush, but you can use whatever, obviously whatever you like. And again, see there's just not a lot of dust. It's just, I, I'm really impressed with it. So that's me building, I wanted to build it up a little bit so you could see how buildable it was. I'm going to grab my e.l.f. Kabuki just because I was building it up to show you, but you, I don't quite need to look like a blush face. And then see how nicely that'll tone down? It's just, it's a really good quality product. I just, I don't know, very impressed. The same on the other side. This is like a two for you. You get to see the Bobby Brown blush brush in action in all of its glory. And the blush. And then again, I'm just going to take my... And I'm just loosely doing this. For anybody who doesn't have this brush, I'm not like smashing this in. I'm just loosely doing this. Do you guys see how bad my allergies are? My eyes all red. Ugh. Lastly, I'm just taking my Eco Tools fan brush and going into the highlight. I'm going to show you that as well. That kicks up a little more dust. You can see around here, but not a lot. And you can see that it did pick up product. So that's all I do with that is just run it along the top of my cheekbones and then up a little bit. Okay, so as you can see, one of the things that I really like about this product is that it's it's I was going to say it's packed very tightly, but I think it's just the, the quality of the product that helps it not be so powdery. A lot of blushes and highlights and bronzers, we all know, if you put your brush into it, it just there's just powder everywhere right away. And I just don't get, this, get that with this. The one that kicks up the most powder is the highlight, and sometimes I think that's more the, of me trying to get it on the fan brush, really, than it is the highlight, but at any rate. So, um... I, I just find that this works very well with my skin tone. I think it would also work well with, and I'm generally, if you're curious, like in MAC terms and NC20, NC25, 
sometimes NW and W, I'm more of a neutral. So um, I feel like this works really well for my skin tone and I feel like it would work well for a few steps darker than me. If you are much darker than me, I'm not sure how well the bronzer would show up on you. I still think the blush would be gorgeous, but obviously the, the bronzer is half of the product. So this product alone sells for $38 on QVC as well as Ulta and I believe It Cosmetics own website as well. However, for $48 on QVC, and you guys know I'm a huge QVC fan, uh, it comes with this Heavenly heavenly Lux powder brush or jumbo powder brush, I think is what it's called. This by itself, if you just go to buy this by itself, is $58. Okay, I'm not sure that it's worth $58, but it is really soft. I thought I would just kind of talk about this brush as well. You can see how nice it is. I don't like it with this. That's not my preference. This is, I mean, we all know I have a ginormous head and look how big this is. What I love this for, though, is using powder or a powder foundation over the top of my skin. For instance, the IT Cosmetics Celebration Foundation or the Illuminating Celebration Foundation. I like it to use that all over if I just want a little more coverage or just a regular powder. This is really, really nice. I don't, I don't like it quite as much for something like my Hourglass. I like to kind of put that in a little more precise area, but if you're going to get this, in my opinion, it is worth the extra $10 to get this powder brush. It's a great powder brush. Absolutely, hands down, has turned into, as I thought that it would, and I think I alluded to that in the video, it has turned into my favorite powder brush. So I just think this is a, I think it's a great value. I don't know how this would be to travel with. I've not traveled with it yet myself. What's nice about it is it is all in one. It's very quick. I have used this a lot. And since I got it, which has been almost a month now, um, to just, you know, you've got everything right there. And this, what I like about this blush is while it's, it is a nice combination of peach and pink, although I hesitate to say peachy pink. It's not, it's more, I would say it's more to the pink side, but it seems to go with a lot of different looks. And I really, I like that about the blush that they chose to put in something like this. So, um, again, the bronzer is matte. And the blush has some sheen to it. I can't remember if I said that in the beginning or not. It has just a little bit, it is still right there from before, just a little bit of sheen to it, nothing crazy that you couldn't put, a, you know, that highlight on top of it. And I've enjoyed that highlight on top of a lot of different products. So I think that this is a winner. I think that it's worth uh, every penny, quite frankly. I paid for this product myself, by the way, in case anybody's curious about that. I bought mine on QVC so that I could get the, the brush with it. Um, very happy, would purchase it over and over again. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you had any questions, go ahead and leave them below for me. On my face today, I have the Lingerie de Peau BB Cream, which I have been using quite a bit lately. And then, of course, you saw the demo. I have that on my eyes, or on my face. On my eyes today, I pulled out my It Cosmetics palette that looks like this. It's the Lux palette. And I just simply have this color all over the crease right here. I have this as my transition color. This is my brow bone highlight. Outer corner and into the crease. And then on the very edge of the crease, I just used some of that copper color. And then I took the blue beneath my lash line. I have the MAC, this was their PowerPoint eye pencil in blue stripe. This was from the Hey Sailor collection on my lower waterline. And then I have my Jordana Espresso Last on my upper waterline and as my upper lash line. I think that about covers it. Oh, on my lips, I have the, it was apparently an It Cosmetics Day, the It Cosmetics CC Lip Serum in Love that I got in a kit somewhere. So. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you're having a great day, and I'll talk to you very soon. Bye!